Hi friends, welcome back once again to the last part of this tutorial series Photorealistic Rendering with Blender In this tutorial, we will start texturing the bark, ground and the background and also we will put the lights to the scene and finally I will talk to you about how I made atmospherical particle using Blender particle system you are watching videos from Adari CG Tutorials on YouTube. For more tutorials, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Now let's get started. First, we want to texture the bark. Select the bark object, come to the materials and click on use nodes and change the viewport view to compositing. Yeah, here is our nodes and here add an image texture node and connect the color output of image texture node to the input of diffuse BSDF and open up the bark texture yeah you can see here our texture is applied now we want to add some bumpness on this texture just have a look at how to add the bumpness make a duplicate of this image texture and open up our bump map you can see here this is our bump map and connect this bump image to the displacement input. Repeat the same setup for texture in the second bark. Come to the materials and click on use nodes and add an image texture node and connect it with the diffuse BSDF and open up the second bark texture. Yeah, here comes the texture and also apply the bump map. Just copy it and open up the bump map for second bark and connect it to the displacement both these bars are obj file so it automatically pick up the texture coordinates our next step is to texture the ground for texturing the ground first we need to unwarp this ground plane for that first change it into edit mode and come to the tools here you can see shading and uv and click on this unwarp and select unwarp see here it is unwarped apply a new texture add a image texture node and connect it to the diffused bsdf and choose our ground texture next add our image on this uv just have a look back to object mode this ground also need a little bit bumpness let's apply that copy the image texture and connect it to the displacement and open up our ground bump map have a look here our bump map is added next we need to put our background texture select the background plane and change to edit mode and unwarp it yeah it is warped apply a new material add an image texture here connect it to the color and choose our background image let's have a look here yeah it came we need some adjustment on this background texture in the uv editor load our background image and rotate the uv by 180 degree just have a look and also scale the uv something like this okay we only need this much portion on our background just have a look back to the default view yeah we completed all our texturings the next thing we need to do is add the light come to the lamp and select the sun come to the front view and drag the sun over here and rotate it a little bit like this switch to the top angle view and drag the light to this back corner and place it over here and rotate it little bit towards the camera once again back to the front view and rotate it little bit more okay now play with the parameters of the sun make the size 0.3 and maximum bounces 10 24 and click on the cast shadow in strength make it something like 6 and switch to render view just have a look here yeah it works well we should need a depth of field in this scene 
For doing that, just add an empty arrow here and place it to the center. Because I wish to focus on the center portion of this scene, select the camera, come here on the depth of field and choose our empty here and make the size 0.3. Switch to the camera view and just have a look how it works. Yeah, it looks good. Now come on the color management here. Let's play with this exposure and gamma value. Just decrease the exposure a little bit. You can see the changes on our rendered view. Yeah, this much exposure is enough. And also make the gamma value something like 0.959 okay next select the sun next select the sun and change its color something like little yellowish tint again reduce the value of exposure little bit yeah this much is okay we need to make some adjustment on our camera angle let's do that tilt down the camera little bit yeah okay now we need to add our atmospherical particle to the scene for doing that i am using blender particle system just create a plane and place it over here and scale it along the y direction switch to the front view drag it little bit down and rotate it by 90 degree come to the side view scale this plane along z direction something like this just have a look okay move this plane to another layer this plane will be our particle emitter with the plane selected come to the particles add a new particle system and in emission set the number as something like 200 the animation start frame is 1 change the end frame to 100 this means that our particle emission will start on the first frame and it ends at the 100th frame. Just have a look here. This plane start emit the particles. Here the emission is occurring outwards to the scene. We want to fix that first. Come to the top angle view. Rotate the plane by 180 degree. Just have a look. Yeah, it works. Come to the front view. And rotate the plane again little bit like this and bring it back little bit. Just check the animation. Yeah, okay. Next, we need to play with the parameters of the particle system. Come to the velocity. Set the normal as 15. Just have a look here. Particles are flowing through our scene. And set the randomness as 0.9. And come down here and set the velocity random as 1.5. Okay. Now we want to set our particle shape. Create a UV sphere. And drag it over here. And scale it down. Select the emitter. And come to the render. Select the object. And pick our UV sphere here. Let's have a look. See here, our particle system start emitting the UV sphere. Grab the size a little bit up and also increase the random value. Now we need to make a material for this UV sphere. Come to the material and add a new. Here I wish to add a glossy particle on this scene so that I am adding emission and make the color little bit yellowish, something more. Come to the render panel and make the preview sample as 100 and just have a look on the rendered view. Pick another frame where more particles are come on this scene. Yeah, this frame is okay. Back to the material once again. It seems that the particles too glossy. We want to reduce that. 
pick something darker value have a look once again you can see here the particles are less in numbers we want to add more particles come to the particle system and change the number to 250 and we also need to reduce the size of m2 once again pick a frame here yeah this frame is okay and one second have a look on the preview okay here particles are appearing little larger reduce the size of this particle something like 0.1 and also make some more darker value for this uv sphere and also change the color little bit more dark and the tone something like yellow have a look once again this is okay our scene is ready to render come to the render panel here we are using custom resolution reduce the previous sampling as 10 and make the render sample as 500 change the tile value 16 by 16 finally hit on render this will take some time i am pausing this recording for a while yeah here is our final render image this is all about this tutorial i will back with a new tutorial soon guys you are watching tutorials from adari cg tutorials on youtube for more tutorials don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching stay tuned bye for now